Congress reclaiming its rightful role in decisions about war. The words of Democratic Senator Tim Kaine as he defended his War Powers resolution. We should not be at war with Iran unless Congress votes to authorize such a war. While the president does and must always have the ability to defend the United States from imminent attack, the executive power to initiate war stops there. Under the Constitution, only Congress can declare war. And Democrats are looking to reassert this congressional authority in their efforts to block Trump from going to war with Iran. In their War Powers resolution, Trump is required to earn approval from Congress before engaging in further military action against Iran. Trump opposes the legislation, arguing it would make the U.S. look weak. Many of his staunch Republican allies are against it as well. I'll oppose this resolution. But some Republican senators do support it. We want to make sure that any military action that needs to be authorized is in fact authorized properly by Congress. That doesn't show weakness. That shows strength. The Senate resolution was introduced shortly after Trump ordered a drone strike that killed Iran's top military commander, Qasem Soleimani. Tehran's retaliatory missile strikes on Iraqi military bases housing U.S. troops dramatically escalated tensions and nearly brought the two countries to the brink of war.